Meghan Markle's mom, Doria Ragland, keeps a pretty low profile, considering her daughter is one of the most famous people in the world. But based on everything the internet knows about her, which is kind of a lot due to the internet being nosy, not to mention her brief appearance on Harry Meghan on Netflix, she is quite literally the best. Doria is a hugely important figure in Meghan's life, her as a social worker, and a yoga instructor. In revenge, however, it's revealed that she was not only a heavy drug user and seller but also absent for extended periods of time during Meghan's childhood, which seems like a very important detail regarding Meghan's upbringing. It's unclear where she was during those protracted and enigmatic absences. For Meghan, it's undoubtedly been a very weird childhood. It's confirmed that she was more or less an absent parent to Meghan in her youth. She was out living her life while her ex-husband, Thomas, raised their daughter. It's been said that Meghan went back and forth between her parents. Tom Ball mentions that Doria only ever attended one of Meghan's school plays and one of her graduations. Thomas was the one who did almost everything for Meghan when she was at school. Moreover, Thomas and Doria's divorce made Meghan somewhat envious of her best friend, Nikki Pretty, whose parents were still together. It appears very fishy and suspicious that Tom Bauer is unable to legally reveal where Doria was during these absences. There is one persistent rumor that she was incarcerated for periods of time. It seems very normal for records in California to be hidden from public view. It's actually now automatic for felons to have their records sealed, so such criminal or imprisonment-related records wouldn't be publicly available on the Internet. While records can be hidden, past criminal convictions can affect licensing to practice certain professions, such as social work, in the state of California. A Redditor did a search for Doria's address on Radaris.com, and among the suburbs that came up were Camarillo, California, and Flushing, New York. A woman's presence in Flushing, New York, the Rose Singer Prison, and a holding jail in Camarillo where prisoners can work off debts if they're bankrupt and unable to pay were both discovered during her research for prisons in those parts of town. Less scandalous explanations for Meghan Markle's mother's absence include reports that she was involved in personal relationships, in rehab, or in a cult, or the official line from Meghan Markle that her mother was working on her career. We don't know what the truth about Doria is but whatever Tom Bauer put in his book hasn't been sued by the litigious hardcore, then it's true. The British royal family must be horrified when they find out more about Meghan Markle and her sketchy, drug-dealing mother. They must be very anxious about things right now because King Charles was highly concerned when he learned that his son was using drugs in his teenage years. Even though Harry is acting obnoxiously, it's believed they'll still be worried that he's under questionable influences. Rumors are still swirling around as Meghan Markle's Instagram comeback could pose a real threat for King Charles, says an expert. The Duchess of Sussex is making rounds on the internet over her viral photo with hairstylist Cotty Lee and writer Cleo Wade. Commenting on the photo, royal expert Daniela Alser talks about potential threat to the king. Writing for news.com.au, Daniela Elser said it now looks a hell of a lot like Meghan is on the cusp of some sort of great big stateside relaunch. Ms. Elser noted that the picture could be a great Sussex second coming. She said, will companies pay to get into bed with Meghan and will women the world over click, buy and watch what she has to offer? And if it doesn't work, just how much of a fresh hell could this create for His Majesty?